What's up guys, I'm Sean. Here's my new track setup. It's the AIM Solo 2 DL lap timer and data logger and the AIM Smarty Cam camera. If you haven't seen my unboxing video yet, check it out. I explained some of the features and why I went with this system. Today we're going to be installing it on my 2004 BMW E46 M3. Here's the wiring harness for the AIM Solo 2 DL. We're only going to use four wires. Basically the black is ground or negative. The red one right here is positive, which is power. And then we're going to use the blue CAN negative wire. And we're going to use the white CAN positive wire. We're not going to use the two RS wires. Anytime you do with the electrical system, it's recommended to disconnect the battery. Now we're in the engine bay. We're going to move one, two, three, four screws to the ECU cover. This is the ECU down here. And we're going to type into the yellow and red wire and the yellow and brown wire. To make it easier to get to this wiring, you can pull out this connector right in front of it. Move this out of the way. And now you have this connector. There's a little button right there that you press and you move this lever forward and this ECU connector comes out. You can use two of these wire taps, make it really simple. I'm actually not going to use this, I don't like it. I feel that sometimes the connection is not very good and it can be a point of failure. So I'm going to do something a little bit different. So I'm going to remove the connector. All you need is a small flathead screwdriver, insert it in between the connector in the housing, there's a little tab right there and then the connector will slide out. And pay attention, you see there's a little arrow right there. So the arrow signifies how it goes back into here. Another thing I'm going to do, you don't have to do this part, but I'm just going to stick a small screwdriver, push down that little tab of the middle connector and then I can pull this wire out. Be careful when you do this, you don't want to break this little connector, otherwise you're going to have to source it from BMW. The only reason why I'm doing this, so I can basically unwrap it. Now I have the wires unwrapped, it's going to be a little bit easier to get to. Before we cut and splice the wires to the ECU, I'm going to show you where to run the AIM wire harness through the engine bay into the cabin of the car. But one spot is to remove this ECU fan box. There are three screws holding it, one there, there, and one underneath the fan. So we just move this cover off. Look, there's the ECU box. Now I'm back in the engine bay in the ECU box, so now I can just drop this harness down. Now I'm going to just run it down and tuck it somewhere neatly. I'm going to skin these wires and I'm gently skinning it. You want to make sure that you don't cut the wires in half. You can see that it's exposed metal right there. We're going to get the white Ken Plus wire wrapped around the yellow and red wire. So now I'm going to put a little bit of solder on that just to make sure the connection is good. Heat up the wires first before you lay the uh, soldering lid. There you go, I just soldered it. So now I'm gonna put heat shield wrapping on it. All right guys, the white CAN plus wire to the red and yellow uh, ECU wire is done. And then I'm gonna do the exact same thing for the brown one. The CAN negative to yellow and brown, it's nice and soldered. The ECU wiring is done. Can positive to yellow and red. Can negative to yellow and brown. Now I'm going to reinsert the connector that I pulled off. Now we got to slide this back into the connector housing. The arrow goes towards the lever. So now I got to figure out positive and ground to get power to the solo unit. If you want to just use the AC adapter and charge the unit, 
then you're pretty much done. You don't have to worry about wiring these two up. Otherwise, the ECU part is done. We can just reinstall the connector the way we removed it. It's down. Pretty excited. I just found this power source from the ECU box. That means we don't have to run the power back to the glove box. It's pretty simple. We can just get it from here. It is the red and white wire with the yellow stripes. I just put my light tester here. So it's switched power source, which is what we want. So when we turn on the car, the light comes on. And then when we turn off the car, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. In 10 seconds, the power goes off, which is what we want. We want to switch power source. So that way the battery doesn't drain and the aim is not charging when the car is off. I know I said I didn't like using this wire splice, but this is the cleanest way for the positive wire. And I could test it like this and see that I get power. And I also put a fuse in there and I test it like this and I know I get power. So it's a lot easier to check the power than to check the ECU communications. The power wire is done. You can run it directly to the source. But as extra precaution, I'm running an inline fuse. I'm running a 5 amp fuse here, but you can run as little as 2.5 amps. For the ground wire, I extended it, ran it through the existing ECU grommet, and put a ring terminal at the end, and bolted it to the existing ECU ground. So that's pretty much it. The wiring is done. I'm going to put the ECU cover back on, and I'm going to head inside the car. Here's the AIM wire fed through the ECU box. And here's the ECU fan that I reinstalled and the wire comes through the bottom of the fan box. Now comes the front part, where to mount this. Like I said, I didn't want the windshield mount because I don't want it to block any part of the windshield. I'm gonna mount it maybe here. So the wire to the Solo DL, I just tucked it underneath the steering column and I have an AC navigation delete. So the wire's back here. This is a very similar wire, but this one's gonna go to the Smarty Cam. If you don't have a Smarty Cam, then you don't have to worry about the second wire. And I'm gonna zip tie it to this vent, driver's side vent in the middle. And I don't have to worry about it getting hot because I can close this vent, so it's not a big deal. This is the mounting plate. And it's magnetic back here. So it literally just clicks in like that. And then you could screw this in to make sure that it doesn't move. Here's my new mounting bracket that I fabbed up. It'll make sense once I put it into the car. So I installed the bolted nut for the AIM Solo bracket and I'm gonna bend it. All right, my bracket is done. You're probably thinking, what the hell is this? You don't have to do this. You can just buy the windshield mount or get like a CD mount or come up with your own mount. Lip on the top to tilt this forward. Lip back here to angle it towards me. And there's a gap so I can run the zip tie through here. Boom, here we go. So of course I'm gonna cut this off later. But here's the Solo 2DL, there it is. So now from the driver's seat, it tips forward and towards me. All right, I reconnected the battery. Let's hook this up and let's see how it goes. That wire's for the Smarty Cam. This wire is gonna be for the Solo 2DL ECU connection. Now let's start the car. We know the unit's getting power because it's charging right there. And for my Smarty Cam, it's getting power because there's this charge button. So the Smarty Cam does get power from the Solo 2 if you hook it up. Now I'm back in the house. We have to download the software. And then I gotta set up the parameters on the Solo 2 DL so it can read my specific ECU. All right, I'm looking at the Solo 2DL manual, page 39, ECU connection and configuration, and the Solo 2DL is communicating via Wi-Fi on my laptop. So this is the part that's important, the ECU stream, since we have a ECU connection. And then we're going to look up BMW, and it's going to be this one BMW mini 
You can confirm this because on the AIM website, the ECU protocol is BMW Mini. Back in the software, we're going to click on BMW Mini. Configuration has been successfully transmitted to your system. Okay. So if you make any changes again, when you're done, you're going to have to hit the transmit button so it can sync to your Solo 2 DL. Otherwise, the changes will only be on the laptop and not on the unit here. Okay, we're back in the car. I just started it up. And now there's just a button that says log. So that pretty much tells me that the ECU is set up. But let's just go for a test drive. I'm gonna hit log. I just finished my test drive. It looks like it picked up RPM. All right guys, just downloaded the test run onto my laptop. The data here shows the uh, battery voltage, um, water temp, engine oil temp, RPMs, etc. So we know that the wiring is working, so that's awesome. All right guys, everything done. AIM Solo 2 DL installed in a BMW E46 M3. The wiring was actually pretty straightforward. The more time consuming part was building this custom bracket. If I went with a windshield mount, I would have been done. But I like it right here, so that's why I built my own bracket. One wire for the ECU CAN connection, power and ground to this. The other wire for the Smarty Cam. The Smarty Cam wiring is right here. And the Smarty Cam is right here. The true test is when I take it to the truck next week, so look out for that video. In the meantime, I have a lot of reading to do. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to watch more. Thanks for watching.